2025 is poised to become a turning point in commercial aviation, a year teeming with transformative events that can reshape the industry's trajectory for decades. The upcoming fantastic milestones and events will redefine air travel and might make us unbelievable. But what exactly can we expect? Which groundbreaking developments will make their mark on aviation history? Let's dive into it. Firstly, let's begin with the US aviation giant Boeing. Boeing faces a historic turning point with its flagship aircraft program. Following two devastating crashes in 2019, the US Congress tightened aviation safety standards, requiring all new aircraft to incorporate advanced cockpit warning systems to gain Federal Aviation Administration approval. While this regulation is praised for enhancing safety, it has placed the 737 MAX program in a difficult position. The MAX 8 and MAX 9 models were certified without these upgrades, but the MAX 7 and MAX 10, currently undergoing flight testing, face the risk of a redesign to comply with these new standards. This not only disrupts cockpit design consistency, but also imposes massive training costs for airlines. A lifeline came when Congress passed a law exempting the MAX series from this requirement, allowing Boeing to temporarily sidestep a major hurdle. However, challenges remain. The European Union Aviation Safety Agency has stated that it will enforce the new safety standards if the US does not. This could force Boeing into a tough position, either develop a special version of the MAX for the European market, or withdraw from the region, potentially ceding ground to Airbus. In this context, Boeing is working to secure FAA certification for the MAX 7 and MAX 10 by 2025. However, history shows that this process is far from simple. The FAA will only issue certification if the aircraft meets all updated safety standards. While the goal seems achievable, the rigorous testing procedures mean that risks remain. This could become a dramatic chapter in Boeing's quest for dominance in the aviation industry. Do you think the 737 MAX will be certified next year? Let us know your thoughts. Secondly, Boeing is betting heavily on increasing and sustaining the production rate of the 737 MAX to address the serious backlog of orders by 2025. As the company's flagship aircraft, it not only represents a significant portion of Boeing's sales, but also serves as a key to restoring the company's position in the aviation market, especially after the setbacks caused by the crashes and the COVID-19 pandemic. Currently, Boeing is producing approximately 38 MAX aircraft per month and plans to increase this number to 50 by 2025. However, this goal is far from simple as the company faces several challenges, including labor shortages, supply chain disruptions, and pressure to meet strict safety standards from aviation authorities. A notable example of these challenges is the delay in deliveries to major customers like Ryanair, Southwest Airlines, and United Airlines, which puts this company at risk of losing market share to Airbus. To boost production, Boeing has heavily invested in automation on the assembly line and is working closely with suppliers to ensure a stable parts supply. For instance, the company signed long-term agreements with Spirit Aerosystems, a major supplier of aircraft fuselages, to mitigate the risk of delays. Additionally, this U.S. manufacturer is focusing on enhancing the capabilities of its Renton, Washington facility, which is the primary production hub for the 737 MAX. Maintaining production speed is not only a short-term solution, but also part of a long-term strategy to regain customer trust. For example, Ryanair, one of Boeing's largest customers, publicly criticized the delivery delays threatening to switch to Airbus if the situation did not improve. This highlights that, beyond ramping up production, this giant must also ensure product quality and uphold delivery commitments. If successful, this effort will help Boeing not only tackle its backlog of over 4,000 orders, but also rebuild trust with airlines, paving the way for future programs. However, any disruption could cause the company to lose its advantage, especially in the increasingly fierce competition with Airbus's A320neo family. Thirdly, Boeing may receive certification for the 777X in 2025. The certification process for the 777X has faced numerous challenges, particularly due to changes in safety standards following the incidents with the 737 MAX. The Federal Aviation Administration currently enforces stricter testing procedures, requiring the manufacturer to address technical issues such as the flight control system and wing pressure during initial trials. For example, a 2019 incident where a cargo door detached during testing disrupted the development timeline. Boeing has conducted thousands of hours of flight testing to ensure that the aircraft meets the stringent requirements of both the FAA and the European Union Aviation Safety Agency. 
Certification will not only involve laboratory tests, but also real-world scenarios, such as wing load testing, engine performance with the GE9X, and fuel efficiency comparisons with previous generations. The impact of delivery delays has significantly affected major customers such as Emirates, Lufthansa, and Qatar Airways, which have placed orders for hundreds of these aircraft. Emirates, in particular, has had to adjust its fleet plans, including upgrading its existing aircraft to compensate for the delay in the 777X deliveries. Under this pressure, Boeing must demonstrate that the new aircraft not only meets stringent safety standards, but also maintains exceptional performance, living up to the promise of being the most fuel-efficient wide-body aircraft in the world. Looking ahead to 2025, this year represents a critical moment for Boeing, as it must not only complete the certification process, but also regain the trust of its customers and partners. Success in this process will play a crucial role in positioning the 777X as a flagship product, directly competing with the Airbus A350 in the wide-body aircraft market. Another major decision Boeing will need to make in 2025 revolves around whether to develop a new freighter aircraft. By 2027, this giant will have to cease production of the 767 freighter, as it no longer meets updated environmental and noise regulations. The company is currently weighing two potential options, upgrading the engine on the existing 767 to comply with these new standards or developing an entirely new freighter aircraft based on the 787-8, which would be more efficient and meet modern environmental requirements. Which option do you think would be more beneficial in the long term? If Boeing opts for an upgrade to the 767 freighter, the focus would likely be on enhancing its engines to reduce fuel consumption and noise emissions. However, such an option might not fully future-proof the aircraft for the long term, as the 767 freighter is already nearing the end of its life cycle. In contrast, developing a completely new freighter based on the 787-8 would provide Boeing with a chance to incorporate cutting-edge technology, including improved aerodynamics, more efficient engines, and modern materials. This new aircraft could potentially offer greater payload capacity and lower operational costs aligning with the evolving demands of the freight and cargo sector. Boeing's decision will have significant implications not only for the company, but also for the wider freight aviation market. Until now, Boeing still has dominated the cargo with many flexible aircraft. However, the investment required to develop a new aircraft could be substantial, and the timeline to bring such a product to market could extend several years beyond 2025. Given the urgency surrounding the 767 freighter's production shutdown and the pressures of the evolving market, the company may officially announce its decision regarding a new freighter program by the end of 2025. This decision will be crucial in determining whether Boeing can continue to compete with Airbus and other manufacturers in the growing air cargo market. Now let's move on to Airbus, which also has its own big decisions to make. Firstly, in 2025, Airbus is expected to make significant strides toward realizing its zero hydrogen-powered aircraft concepts marking a pivotal moment in the aviation industry's quest for sustainable flight. Airbus aims to introduce three distinct zero designs, each targeting different market segments. The first is a hydrogen-powered turbofan aircraft capable of carrying 120 to 200 passengers for medium-haul flights of up to 2,000 nautical miles. The second is a hydrogen propeller-driven design for regional travel, catering to smaller aircraft needs with a range of approximately 1,000 nautical miles. The most futuristic of the three is the blended wing body concept, which integrates the fuselage and wings to improve aerodynamic efficiency while accommodating up to 200 passengers. Each of these aircraft will be powered by hydrogen and stored in cryogenic tanks that present unique challenges in terms of weight, safety, and performance. While 2025 will be critical in advancing the Zero project, the ultimate goal is to have a commercial hydrogen-powered aircraft ready by 2035. This ambitious timeline will depend on several factors, including technological development, regulatory approvals, and collaboration with hydrogen suppliers. Airbus has already begun testing hydrogen technologies such as the use of hydrogen-powered engines in the A380 flying testbed. However, challenges remain especially regarding the infrastructure needed at airports to support hydrogen distribution and storage. Despite these hurdles, Airbus's progress in 2025 will be a significant milestone, demonstrating its commitment to achieving net zero emissions by 2050 and making green hydrogen a viable alternative for the aviation industry. 
In addition to the progress made by Boeing and Airbus, Comac, the Chinese state-owned aircraft manufacturer, is steadily carving out a position for itself in the global aviation market. The company is making significant strides with its C919, a narrow-body jet designed to compete with the Boeing 737 and Airbus A320. Comac is ramping up production of this aircraft, with plans for its first delivery in the near future, aiming to improve passenger comfort and enhance the flying experience. This focus on passenger-centric innovations is part of Comac's broader strategy to elevate its competitive edge in the aviation industry and position itself as a serious contender to Western aircraft manufacturers. The C919 will feature advanced technologies such as more fuel-efficient engines and improved aerodynamics, which should help lower operating costs and attract airlines looking to optimize their fleets. Additionally, Comac is not stopping with the C919. It is already working on the development of larger aircraft such as the C929 and C939, which are aimed at the long-haul market and intended to rival the Boeing 787 and Airbus A350. Encouragingly, the company has secured its first orders for these models, signaling a growing interest in Chinese-made aircraft. The year 2025 could be a pivotal year for Comac, marking significant progress in its ambitious goals to dominate both the domestic and international markets. However, Comac faces considerable challenges in convincing airlines outside of China to adopt its aircraft. Its path to success will largely depend on its ability to tap into new markets, with the Russian and African markets representing two potential growth areas. Russia, in particular, has already shown interest in the C919 as a potential alternative to Western aircraft, driven by its growing isolation from Western suppliers. Similarly, Africa's emerging aviation market could provide an ideal testing ground for Comac's products. Convincing international customers to embrace Chinese-made aircraft will require this company to build a strong reputation for reliability, after-sales support, and safety. Attributes that will be critical in the coming years as it seeks to challenge Boeing and Airbus's dominance. Finally, looking ahead to 2025, we want to set an ambitious goal to reach 60,000 subscribers and to achieve this, we need to continue striving for excellence. However, the most crucial factor will always be your continued support. Let's take this exciting journey to the next level and make this milestone a reality together. The aviation industry in 2025 is expected to boom even more and be much more bustling than it is now. What experience are you looking forward to the most? Leave a comment below to let us know. Thank you and safe flights every time.